Hi guys, welcome back. In this Laravel 5.8 video tutorial, we are going to learn about the Laravel migration. So, first question is arising here, what is the migration? So, migration is a kind of database versioning system. Uh, here, you put your old database inside your Laravel code. For example, uh, there you can see that there is a create user migration. So, this is uh, the database of your uh, user table. You can say that. So when uh, you are sharing the code from one user to another code, the these file also be transform transferred with the code. And when we need to uh, use them with the database, then we can easily use use them, and we can transfer this code to the uh, database also. So how we can do that, we will going to learn. Okay. So first question is. Uh, so let's get started with that. So now first of all, you have to set your .env file. So in the .env file, you have to set at least three parameters. Uh, one is the database name, the username, and the password. And here I just already set the three things. Okay. So here you can see that this is my database, and the user table is totally empty here. So I, you can see that uh, there is a two tables, and some other tables are also there inside the vendor folder, which are uh, here. You can see that. Uh, this is the vendor folder there is a lots of libraries here with the composer so some data are also here when i just trying to migrate there is a lots of data will be migrate inside uh, here okay so uh, after that just i want to show you that uh, how migration is working uh, after that i'm going to tell you that how you can create a single file and uh, i will uh, create a sample file and here we will write some code and we will migrate this to the database also and how we can roll back this reverse this and uh, put the new seeding we will learn everything about the uh, laravel migration so now let's get start so first of all let's check how migration will come here so just i'm going to write a simple command php artisan migrate and here you can see that the tables are migrating here Okay, so around around 10 files are migrating here. Then you can see that, uh, sorry, eight files are migrating here. One on the migration table, which will tell that this is migrated or not. And another, another table are which is present here. Okay, so these two table are coming from here. And the another one just coming from the another composer package. So now how we can create a new pack, a uh, new migration. So for that, just come here and just write it clear. And I'm going to write here PHP artisan make migration and migration table name. So let's say my table name is sample. underscore table and hit the enter and now you can see that uh, one new migration is created here and here it is okay so here when you uh, read this there is some uh, namespaces is using here one is a migration schema and uh, blueprint will help you to uh, transfer the database here to the mysql and up function will use for uh, write the migration code and down function is used for delete the migration. Okay, so now uh, just create some uh, just write some code here like schema And with the schema just create create use create function And inside the create you can uh, first parameter as to your table name which is the sample and another is the callback function and inside the callback function you can pass a parameter we will pass the parameter here which is the blueprint class just put it down here uh, this you can simply write here blue print and dollar table 
and here you can define your table schemas like uh, table and what kind of it is let's say increment it will help with the auto increment and it's, it's the name of column is id and the second one is we can put like table and simply string and string will come as on name okay and third one let's say you want to use the table timestamp then you can use this also fine just make them formatted okay so now our up function is ready now just try to run migration and it will give you a one error okay then uh, it will uh, it's actually not giving the error uh, because uh, we just create the table here and here you can see that we got the user table also here fine and if I just uh, put something wrong just try to once again and here it will tell that the nothing to migrate here okay now simple so let's say you want to uh, roll back them then how you can do that uh, for that you have to just use the table name with the rollback and hit the enter and you can see that your last table is just rolled back okay nice so let's say you want to just change something here uh, just check out all the functions uh, you just check the sample table and here uh, we have you have the four column with the name you want to just put the username and let's try to migrate it once again okay but it will telling that the table is already migrated then how we can do that okay so for that uh, you can do one thing uh, you can just uh, refresh everything php artesian fresh and hit the enter and they will del del uh, drop the old tables and uh, then migrate the uh, tables again and now you can get here with the username also so nice so these are the basic things about the lateral migration and if you still have any confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe our channel and like this video thanks guys thanks for watching this video